In this video, I'm going to share with you six easy tips that you can immediately apply to optimize your cognition. So if you have questions about MS cognitive impairments, tune in because I'm going to start sharing with you right now. Howdy, learn about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits. So if you're impacted by MS and you want to up your game, make sure to subscribe to the channel right now. And please click that notifications bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming educational content. First off, a few words about the unique thinking and memory problems that can be seen in multiple sclerosis. This is not Alzheimer's dementia. You are not going to forget who you are or who your loved ones are and you are not going to lose your memories from childhood. Cognitive impairments in multiple sclerosis typically impact executive functioning. Executive functioning has to do with attention and your ability to lock on to a task, your ability to multitask and do many things at the same time, and to process cognitive information under pressure of speed and time. I have made several other videos discussing cognition and MS. I'll put links up above, and I'll also include links down in the description below. Now let's turn our attention to six tips of things that you can do right now to improve and optimize your thinking and memory in the setting of multiple sclerosis. In other videos I've shared with you the critical importance of early application of disease-modifying therapy. Simply put, this is probably the most impactful way that you can optimize and maintain cognition in MS by getting on a DMT early and staying on it long term. That's not the focus of this video, however. I'm instead talking about things that you can apply in the now. And so let's start to go over these useful everyday tips and tricks. Number one, create routines in your daily schedule. For example, try to always park your car in the same parking spot. If you do that, when you leave work, you don't have to wonder where the heck you put your car. You know you will always park on the top floor at the A section. Similarly, always place your keys in the same bowl when you get home. That way you don't spend 10 minutes running around the house trying to find your keys because you always place them in the same location. The more routines and patterns that you can create throughout your given day, the easier it will be to remember things that you need to do, not to get lost and forget stuff when it's important. Number two, keep a notebook. A small little notebook that you keep in your pocket or in your purse with a pen attached to it and use it. When you have a list of things to do, whip out the notebook and jot them down. And as you do them, check them off. If you think of a question that you want to ask someone, write it down. When you're preparing for your doctor's visit, take notes on what it is that you want to talk about and the questions that you have. A notebook is like a peripheral brain and it allows you to have a parking lot for things that you need to come back to. Number three, physical activity. I cannot stress enough the importance of being physically active with multiple sclerosis. And one of the biggest benefits is that it will actually improve cognition. It will improve your functional reserve and your attention, and it can actually help you think more clearly. I'm not asking you to become a professional kickboxer or to climb a mountain. I am asking you to find ways of integrating physical activity into your daily lives. This could be something as straightforward as walking after work or using your lunch hour to go to the gym. Think of ways that you can insert physical activity into your daily life to improve cognition. Number four is to focus on sleep. If you're not getting enough hours of sleep, it will impact your cognition. Keeping in mind that in the setting of MS, your cognitive reserve, your functional reserve, isn't as big as it used to be. And one of the very best ways of replenishing the cognitive reserve is to sleep. To that end, I'll share with you a secret weapon, naps. Naps can be very, very useful. And as an experiment, if you're having a day where you feel cognitively foggy, try taking a nap and ask yourself when you wake up if you're noticing that you think more clearly. I bet that you find it helps. Naps are a secret weapon. If you're not getting enough hours of sleep, you're cheating yourself. And if you have disordered sleep because of sleep apnea, because of restless leg syndrome, or because of poor sleep hygiene, you're cheating yourself. I have done a few videos on improving sleep function. I'll throw a link up here and I'll include one down below. And if you're suffering from difficulties with thinking and memory in the setting of MS, please I implore you to optimize your sleep. Better sleep equals better thinking. Number five is to clean up your diet. Diet is underappreciated in MS. Now, I'll throw a link up here and in the description below on some thoughts I've had on MS diet. In this video, suffice to say that if you have a poor diet 
then you may be cheating yourself and actually impacting thinking and memory. To that end, a few words about drugs and alcohol. Many of us enjoy an adult beverage. And I'm not telling you to be a teetotaler, but I am telling you that alcohol consumption can impair cognition. And so that's something that I want you to be cognizant of. And tip number six is to address polypharmacy. Again, polypharmacy is the doctor's way of saying, wow, you're on a lot of medicines. And this is something that you're going to need to do with your MS provider. Each clinic visit, ask them, which of these medicines can I come off? Do I still need this bladder pill? Is this the best bladder pill for me? Or does this bladder pill contribute to problems with thinking and memory? Too many medicines can result in cognitive fog, and we don't need that. Now it's time to sound off. I want to hear from you. In the comments below, please share tips and tricks that you found that help with cognition. This is a growing MS community, and the folks on this channel can learn a lot from you. So please take a moment and share your best tip down below in the comments. And I'll close the video with my question of the day. Which tip will you apply first? Keeping a notepad and taking notes or optimizing your diet? Give your answer in the comments down below. Once again, my name's Aaron Boster and thank you for learning about MS with me. Until my next video, take care.